For this project, we need some bleeding tissue paper, water and a brush, a marker, a pencil, and paper. If you don't have bleeding tissue paper, you could use marker with some water on top or even watercolor paint. We're going to start by laying the bleeding tissue paper out for the top of the tree. Regular tissue paper does not have a bleeding effect, but you could also glue regular tissue paper to a piece of paper if that's what you want to do. I start by ripping up some pieces so that I can overlap the colors and have a large tree top. When you have your tissue paper arranged, grab a wet paintbrush. We're going to blot the tissue paper to get it wet to allow it to stick to the paper and for the colors to start bleeding. Brushing the water on will cause your tissue paper to move, so try to blot and use your hand to hold the tissue paper down if you need to. Once all of the tissue paper has been saturated, we're going to pull the pieces off. Let your piece dry for a few moments. Once the paper is dried, you can start to sketch out the silhouette of a tree trunk. You can make it more realistic or a little more stylized. When you're happy with the shape, go ahead and color it in with black marker. Add little sticks and twigs until you're happy with the design. 